Imagine you're going on a blind date. You don't know what the person looks like or what their interests are. You're sitting in a coffee shop waiting for this mystery person to arrive, and you start to look at the menu. You're feeling uncertain about this whole blind date thing, but that feeling of uncertainty is completely irrelevant to choosing from the menu, right? From a rational perspective, it shouldn't have any impact on whether you choose cappuccino or chai latte or how you feel about that choice. But actually, feeling uncertain has profound effects on decision making. For example, people are more thoughtful about their choices when they're feeling uncertain because they want to be more sure about their decisions. In many situations, this more thoughtful decision making feels difficult, leading people to actually be less confident. My research reveals that when people make subjective preferential choices, like choosing from the menu, the opposite occurs. Uncertainty drives greater confidence. I admit, it is counterintuitive that people could gain confidence from feeling uncertain. But when we're considering which movie we'd like to see or what style of jacket we want to buy, our decision processing is subjective and self-referential in nature. What do I think I'll enjoy? Which style do I prefer? I've conducted a series of experiments in which participants make these kinds of subjective choices while feeling either certain or uncertain, and they report the thoughts that go into their decisions. I apply a computational model of language to understand their decision making. And I find that when people are feeling uncertain, their more thoughtful decision processing produces thoughts that are more cohesive and more favorable to the options that they choose. As a result, their decision making is faster and it feels less conflicted, inspiring greater confidence. Now you may wonder, why does that matter? Well, the more confident people are in their decisions, the more likely they are to purchase what they've chosen and the more they're willing to pay for it. More importantly, my research offers critical insight into the dynamics of harmful coping behaviors like emotional shopping and eating. Anxiety is a major risk factor for this kind of coping behavior, and my findings help to explain why. You see, anxiety is strongly associated with feelings of uncertainty that can exacerbate the risks. A person shopping to cope with anxiety will complete more purchases and be willing to spend more on them because their feelings of uncertainty drive them to be more confident in the choices they are making.